I'm Debris Stevenson. I'm the creator, writer, director, performer, and my pronouns are she, her. The Right to Rave is an immersive theatre experience about the radicalism of raving that takes you on a narrative journey using the best parts of prides, carnivals and parties around the world. So we've been here a week and a half now, almost exactly a week and a half, and we've got sharing on Friday, trying not to be terrified about. One of the things that we explore in the show is the homophobia that is surrounded by bashment music, by dance hall, and the connection that we as queer people have with bashment music, but also how it can be so intrinsically homophobic. Something else that, that this play explores, which is really nice, is queer love and queer um, togetherness and queer community in, in so many ways. And I think that's really beautiful to be able to explore that, especially in a space that um, sometimes can actively push that away. To have that joy and to have two women on stage being attracted to each other and, and feeling each other and, and moving with each other is something that we very rarely see on screen in uh, cinema, TV, on stage. There was a specific experience that we had last year that's particularly inspired the story that we're unpacking over these two weeks at Hackney Empire. Mm -hmm. We had this incident. We were probably about, what, six months deep? Yeah. Into Corona. At that Into point. Corona. Yeah. And then um, it was kind of a weekend. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, a socially distant party. First thing I remember is like getting in and it was dead. dead. Because we were just so openly queer yeah. as a group from the moment we got there. Mm -hmm. And they started seeing that we were dancing and enjoying ourselves. Mm. And the next thing you heard was Chitty Man. Mm. And it was just a whole bunch of just homophobic songs. The song, like, we go back to the beginning of this conversation, mm -hmm. that taught you how to be free. Mm -hmm. Quintessentially disagrees exactly. with who you are. Originally, my parents are Mormon and I was made to feel very ashamed of being in my body. I think that, that's a big thing for me in this show, where you literally, there's this one piece called Itchy, where it's like, I used to have this nightmare that I wanted to scratch my skin off. <laughs> Being made to feel ashamed of any level of sexuality that I owned, and I'm not even talking about that in a queer sense, mm. though obviously that's a massive part of it as well. Yeah. Being made to feel like I was evil, like there was something wrong with me, like, not yeah. really understanding why. This is such a big part of me, dancing. And I just think, especially like growing up in such a homophobic house, in a house where literally, yeah, like literally bathing with your clothes on because you think you're not allowed to exist. And then I started going to these dance hall raves where I could literally be anything and feel like sexy and feel free and feel like, it's, it's almost like, me, and I think a lot of people with mental health issues have struggled with that over this period of time. That is, is triggered all of that again. And then to be like, here's a room, move again. You were like, can I, will I ever, will, will I ever be allowed to move again? In the ways I could before, is will the world ever be the same again? Will I feel free again? It was really like, which made me like not want to do it, but also made me know that I had to do it. The show was amazing, by the way. Um, like I said after, it brought up so many things for me. Movement was amazing, the movement was amazing. The music was good. 
on like yeah. how raw it was and how much I really wanted to just dance. And I think that you don't really get that in a traditional theatre where you've got like, you know, fourth wall and, and all that kind of parameters, which is really restrictive. A really strong moment when they were just looping like the anti-gay lyrics from Ragga that I've been listening to for years. Um, and I love this music, um, but it's really made me re-look you know, re at it. It's an unbelievable piece. It's eye-opening, it's touching, it's heartfelt. It's controversial. I think it's going to be challenging for a lot of us who have just grown up accepting.